Money is a complicated subject for a lot of people. Most of us have a negative attitude towards it, we want more of it, but we don't know how to get it or what to do with it once we have it. But some people have a different mindset altogether, they see money as a tool for buying things and gaining more wealth. Some people spend their entire lives trying to save as much as they can, while others have a complete disregard for it and spend each paycheck as soon as they get it. Whichever category you fall under, financial freedom is a dream that every person aims for, after all, who wouldn't want to have choices? Changing your relationship with money and using non-traditional methods makes it possible to gain financial freedom fast. A typical 9-to-5 job won't cut it anymore, not in the modern economy. You can't be financially independent if you don't know how much money you need to survive comfortably. There are, of course, multiple ways to define comfort. Some people live large, with expensive commodities and exotic vacations, while others enjoy a simple life. The truth is that how much you need to achieve financial freedom depends on how you choose to live your life. Thus, you need to know how much you spend a year. From there, you can put the money into an account that will accrue compound interest. Make sure that you know your net worth. Once you know your starting point and how much your investments and savings are you can figure out what strategy is best for you. Use your net worth to start investing. The most important thing is to constantly monitor your net worth to make sure that it grows. When planning for financial freedom, it's essential to examine every aspect of your expenses. You can critically consider whether that item is worth its cost by thinking about the time you spend working on getting money to pay for an item. Viewing your purchases in terms of hours worked to purchase them means you know what something is worth, not that you shouldn't spend at all. If your payment is $10 divided by hour, $300 impulse item might just take three weeks of work. Just remember that when comparing things, include all the time you've spent earning money for it, not just the time you spend at your job. Don't forget taxes, either. If you're looking for a fast way to build up your savings, one of the best ways to start is by cutting down on transportation, housing, and food expenses. All three of these areas take away a large portion of your net worth. Savings made from there can help you set yourself up for a secure future. For example, moving to a lower cost area or a location near your workplace can help cut costs. Public transportation is also cheap and environmentally friendlier than owning a personal vehicle. Cook at home if you can. It will decrease your household's grocery bill, which will also leave more money in your pocket. A company pension can help you ensure that you're saving and making money. Most workplaces will match the money you put in. Thus, you will be getting free money. You should also ask for a raise. When you are ready to ask, consider these three steps. Do some research on your current job title in different industries to see how they compare compensation. Assess your performance in the role and how it has impacted the success of the company. Consider whether there is any room for growth in your position. Otherwise, try to convince your boss to let you work remotely. That way, you cut down on spending. You should also try to set up a side business in addition to your day job. This way, you have multiple income streams that can help you earn money from different angles. To make more, you may also want to look into freelancing work on the side, which is a surefire way to supplement your income and diversify it further. If you're not taking action daily to move toward your financial goals, you're wasting time. Each day that goes by is another opportunity lost. Before you know it, you'll be months or years into the future and have nothing to show for it. When it comes to compounding interest, even one day matters. Reach your goals, don't wait until tomorrow, take action today. Whether by cutting down on spending or starting a pension plan, make sure you follow through on your method to gain financial freedom.